Collapse India Pro version, you can now get footprint or market delta charts right on the bookmap chart. For more information or to purchase, go to bookmap.truedata.in. Then scroll down a bit and you'll see pricing and packages here, the Bookmap India Pro version here. This is the version that offers the footprint chart. Once you've purchased, then go to the Bookmap Knowledge Base in the add-on section here. You'll see the footprint indicator listed here. Click on that and then on the right hand side you'll see all the different sections within the footprint indicator area. Scroll through and you can find the download link after purchase right here. Note this works with Bookmap version 7.3 build 40 or greater. After you've downloaded the Bookmap footprint version, then go to Bookmap, open it up, and click on Configure Add-ons. In here, scroll down and click on Add. You'll add the footprint indicator here. Once it's added, then put a check in the box here. Now, let's go through some of the settings and parameters. There's a footprint bar type here. There are several different types. You can have a time interval. For example, now it's showing the footprint interval of five minutes. You can make that one minute. You can make that 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever you prefer. You can also have a reversal bar type. The reversal ticks amount here is 10. And you can see that a bar will form and once it comes down to a certain area of 10 ticks, a new bar will form. So you can see a new bar is forming here. Once it reaches down to here, this little red marker right here, a new bar will form. You can also set it as a range. Here, each, each bar is set to 10 ticks. Once that 10 ticks range is met, then a new bar will form. Or you can set it to a volume bar. The bar volume here I've inputted is 20,000. So each time 20,000 trade in volume, a new bar will form. Let's continue on with the different parameters. You can input the bar width here in pixels. By default it is 80. And then the background type. There are many different selections here. You can have none and you can see now I just have text. We'll go over that in just a minute. Here I'll select histogram and you can see that it's giving me a histogram with the text numbers. It is one solid color only. We can look at a histogram delta chart though and you'll see that it gives me both colors for positive or market buy orders and then negative market sell orders. And it is giving me the delta per price level. We can also select histogram diagonal delta and you can see that there are two different bars. On the left side you will see the red bars here with the delta and on the, on the right side you'll see the positive bars. You can also have the histogram of buy and sellers within the same bar across from each other at the same price level. Or you can also look at the full background within a single color here. And lastly you can look at the full background with the delta. If there was a market delta of sell it will be red. If it's positive number uh, it will be green. Alright let's continue on and scroll down. You can use shaded values here if you like and you can see it's semi-transparent and you can input the value here between 50 and 220. By default it's 127. You can align the background to the right or to the left. Let's first choose a histogram delta and then let's go down here and we'll choose the align to the right hand side. And you can see it will align now to the right or to the left if it's deselected. 
Let's go over another input here for the footprint type or the text. Right now we can see it's buyers and sellers on the same price level. From the drop down you can also look at the summation of buyers plus sellers at the same price level. Or you can look at the horizontal delta, buyers minus sellers at the same price level. You will see the delta number. If it's negative, it was more selling than buying. Or you can look at the diagonal delta. This will be a comparison between the bid versus the ask in a diagonal form here from one price level to the next price level. You can also choose not to show the text at all. Maybe you're just interested in looking at the profile of the market delta. You can also input or change the colors here for the text. Scroll down a little bit further. You can put in the max size font here, 14, or make it smaller at 10, whatever you choose. You can also align the text to the right or to the left. There are a few other settings here for crypto rounding, tick multiplier, and horizontal smart scaling. For crypto rounding, this will show you the amount of dollars per each tick. In this case, it's 10. You can also choose one or 100. You can also look at the tick multiplier here. For example, if I choose two or three, you'll see what will happen is that now each price level will be a reading for three ticks. Let's turn it back to one and not spread it out over three ticks and just have one. You can also select here the horizontal smart scaling. If you zoom out, you can see that the scaling here in the text type has different font sizes. Play around with the different parameters and configurations to see what works best for you. There are many different ways to look at the volume footprint. Let's zoom out a little bit and as you can see as I zoom out, you'll note that it starts to compress the chart and the text is now not appearing. So let's go to a different parameter here. In fact, we'll go to a time interval. And every five minutes we'll get our histogram or market delta. 